Hello, this is part two of Fun with Debian with Robert Pogson. Today we're going to install WordPress in a few minutes. It's a pretty easy job. Um, first we're going to check our IP address because we'll need that just to browse to our website. Okay, we're 192.168.122.236 and if we uh, check that out on a browser we'll find we have no connection because we don't have a server running there at that address. Let's create one. Um, apt get install WordPress and App get install WordPress brings in everything we need except the database. So we'll add MySQL server to that command. And the package manager checks the packages that are available, checks the dependencies, brings all of them in that it can. And it says there's 82 to be installed, 58 megabytes of archives, and it'll end up with 168 megabytes of additional disk space. Do you want to continue? Yes. And there I am pulling it in from my local mirror because it's a little bit faster and more reliable than the internet. On the internet <coughs> this might take three times longer uh, depending on your bandwidth. Okay. This is coming in at two or three megabytes a second which is surprisingly slow. Normally you would expect it to be 10 megabytes a second but it's a virtual machine. Now, the database requires uh, a root user and they want a password for it. We'll use Linus Rocks so we can remember it easily. Linus Rocks again to confirm. Okay. So what the package manager has done is downloaded all these files. Now it's unpacking them. They're compressed archives and scripts. So it's breaking them all apart, putting the files in place, and then it's setting up. That means running the install scripts, doing little configuration things like uh, doing something with that password we gave it. The database is used to hold usernames, passwords, posts, titles, and all the text of your blog and that's where it all goes. As your blog grows the database will grow with it. There we're done but we don't have the, uh, the, the configuration all done. The reason for that is that the database could be installed on another computer or whatever so they want you to manually do that. The um, Apache uh, web server um, is not configured either. So we'll show you the files. The package minus L lists the files in a package. WordPress. That will list all the files. We're only interested in the ones that are in the doc for documentation directory. Grep doc. There we go. So set up MySQL and apache.conf for in there. So we will um, move apache.conf into the Apache web server's configuration directory. I'll copy it, not move it. I did that the other time I tried it and it was embarrassing. <laughs> Press examples. Uh, Apache conf we'll put into ets apache2 conf.d that's directory for configurations and we'll call it with the conf there. Okay, we'll edit that file in a moment. Uh, we'll move the script set up mysql into the root uh, directory. root directory and examples. Um, so, okay. I'm saving 
typing by using the tab or the up arrow gives me the previous command like up arrow gives me the previous command and then I can just go and edit that command to make the variations on it. So we'll um, switch to the Apache configuration and there's whoopiconf, our configuration file. We'll edit it with nano and the reason we want to edit that is the Apache configuration it's a bit complex. There's different ways you can do it. For instance, if you had multiple blogs, multiple websites on the same server, you would want to use a feature called virtual host. Uh, we just have a simple server we're setting up. So this last section, alias slash blog, user share WordPress, that uh, will do it for us. So let's go to the top and we'll just delete all those lines. Eh? They're giving you an example of different ways you can configure it. So, uh, control K deletes a line. So, without virtual host, host it off dot bl uh, slash blog. And we'll delete the rest of it. Okay, what that's going to do is tell Apache where our blog script files are. And um, we'll write that out with control O, and control X gets out of it. Now we need to restart the uh, web server. It's Apache 2. Um, in it, Apache 2 restart. That'll restart the web server, and when it starts, it checks its configuration file. So we get that done. I'll cd to my directory. I'm running as root, so my root directory is slash root. There's our file. If I check its permissions, it's read-write, um, and we need it to be executable. So I need to change its permissions. Chmod is the command. User plus execute uh, set up my SQL. Okay, now I run that command and since we didn't use it correctly, it educates us. It gives the, uh, the command line parameters we need. Uh, minus n, name for the MySQL user and database. Help, destroy and purge, backup. So we just need the minus n parameter and the fqdn is the fully qualified domain name. In our case, it'll just be the IP address because I haven't set up in its hosts or anywhere a uh, domain name. Could do that though, if I wanted to. Um, so, dot slash setup. Since it's in this directory and not on our path for executables, I have to start it with dot slash saying dot means this directory, and there's the file name, minus n, and we'll call the name WordPress, and that will be the database user and the uh, the name of the database, and the fully qualified domain name is that IP address we had before. Right? 2.236.0.0.0. 2, do, 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 do. You can see it pinged our uh, computer, our network interface, and got a response in 0 0.035 milliseconds. It's pretty fast. And it says go to http colon slash slash 192 blah 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 to set up WordPress. We have to go to that slash blog because of our Apache configuration. And it's hard to believe, but we should be there now. We should have a working site. So we go control alt right arrow to get to the other machine. Let's try again. Ho ho ho! There's our configuration. Uh, of the blog, eh? Site title. We could call it uh, our blog. Uh, username is admin. The password we could use Linus Rocks because he does. And that's a medium strength. If you're putting this on the internet, you want strong passwords. So think about that. Uh, they want an email for us. 
and it's uh, pogson at uh, myhome.org, say. Not my real address, but we put that in there just to please it. Allow my site to appear in search engines like Google and Technorati. We'll skip that. If we were on the net and we wanted to be indexed, um, we would leave that checked. Install WordPress. Could not instantiate mail function. That's because I don't have a mail server set up anywhere, and it wasn't a real mail address anyway. Um, success! Word process has, WordPress has been installed. Were you expecting more steps? Sorry to disappoint. So that's pretty nice. Admin, your chosen password gets us in. Click on that. Uh, admin is our administrator's name. Password is Linus Rocks. And this is how we configure our, uh, our site. It's the control panel. Right? We could look at posts. And there's a Hello World post there. I can click on Edit and check that out. We can put in some real stuff. This is from part two of Fun with Debian. Okay, and uh, we update the post. We can go look at it on the um, we can go visit our site, open a new tab, and there's our, there's what our blog looks like, and hello world, this is from part two, fun with Debian. And I don't know whether you've run a blog before, but everything you need is in here. You can create user accounts with passwords if you want, or just allow visitors to uh, leave comments, there's all kinds of options there. Uh, there's anti-spam, there's uh, all kinds of things you can do with it. But that was pretty easy, just a few minutes work, and you've got a blog on your PC. Is that cool or what? And uh, WordPress is a very popular blog. It's widely used on the internet. It may not be industrial strength, but it's a quick and easy way to get a blog, speak your mind, share with others, collaborate, whatever you want. It's, uh, it's way cool and it's one of the fun things about Debian. I like the fact that you can just start with a minimal system and type a few commands and make something, put something together just like that. I don't know yet what we'll do in part three, but we're going to have more fun with Debian next time we meet. So have a good day.